hard pressed on every side. But we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the all surpassing power is from God and not from us. We're hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but we don't despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to the death for Jesus' sake. So his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us eternal glory that far outweighs them all. Second Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7. Do I believe that? I don't know anymore. I ascribe to the basic tenets of the Bible, and I believe it to be true, the inspired word of God. But do my actions bear this out? Do I live like someone hard-pressed but not crushed? Not very often lately, if I'm being honest. I feel like my soul has been ground into dust, and my actions show it. Relationships I once thought secure broke. People who should know me well enough in order to distinguish between what I would and would not do, don't. People who thought I had my... I thought had my best interest and those of my children at heart didn't and I was very very naive heartbreak broken trust these aren't new these things are part of the human existence so why do I think I'm special the thing I keep coming back to is if I claim to be a child of the light do I then act like it because if I believe God's word then how I act and react should be born out of the truth that I claim to believe I claim to believe in a risen Lord who is returning. With that in mind, my priorities shift into very clear focus. Telling the good news to those around me, living and supporting the people God puts in my path. We who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. If I'm dead, then any time my pride is offended, that's a good thing. When people offend me, intentionally malign me, criticize me, that's good. They're helping to do the work of putting my flesh to death, so I need to be humble enough to listen when others find fault with me. If it is, in fact, a moral shortcoming. Sometimes I need to be reminded that the old me is being put to death. I need to act like it even though I may be perplexed. I'm not destroyed.